This video is a Visio 2010 Network Rack Diagram Tutorial, and this is part 5, Equipment Labels. Uh, we're going to label the equipment in the racks here, and we will be using the uh, data fields that we've uh, added to these um, shapes. So uh, when we uh, created the data fields, we didn't actually uh, populate them. So we're going to do uh, a little bit of that right now. And bring the manufacturers. And so we'll be doing that with each piece of equipment. Some of this equipment will have an IP address. I'm going to put something uh, generic in here. Now here we have patch panel ID on the patch panels. And uh, we normally expect these to be uh, lettered within a data closet, uh, A, B, C, D. Uh, I'm going to put in here just uh, an X for right now as an indication that we'll want to be filling that in later. And switch. And that pretty much fills in all of the uh, data fields for these objects. We'll take a little quick look through them again. Uh, the rack, EPS, patch panel. Now, one thing we want to do here is uh, check these objects. Right click on them and it says show equipment label. Tell it to do that. Um, Enable text label editing. We want to do that. And we also want to show the equipment label. And we get to the switch. Enable text editing. And show equipment label. Okay. Now we're going to uh, select uh, all of these items uh, at the same time. to enter field. Here we uh, add field to an object and there's an option of using shape data and this shows the fields that are common to all those objects. But we're going to go instead with uh, custom formula and what we're going to do here uh, the names of all these data fields start with a PROP and when we enter that it gives us a list of data fields double click on manufacturer and then we're going to put an and uh, quote space quote uh, another and and uh, prop and this time we're going to put the product number so this will give us a field that combines um, product manufacturer space and, and the product number and we go OK on that and now uh, that has changed all of the uh, labels that are on here. And I'm going to the uh, 
dragging these labels out to the right side and uh, just make space for that. I'm going to move the rack over a little bit. Zoom in a little. I'm just going to space these out. So I use a handle right there to grab onto that uh, wheel. Yes. These were the um, text labels that we enabled uh, to show and to edit. And we have manufacturer and part number. Now we're going to add something else to a couple of these. Uh, I'd like to also display the IP address on the networked items. And uh, I could do this different ways uh, just to uh, demonstrate something here by type. And I'm going to select the by layer, uh, network infrastructure, and switches. And what this has done is selected the uh, switch and the EPS. And uh, those both have IP addresses. So I'm going to uh, modify the fields. A little bit there, go back to that insert field, and I'm going to add something onto that. I'm going to go um, and space again, and, and uh, here I'll start with that PROP period, and this time it gives me a comment field of IP address. Double click on that, and now this says. Um, added the IP address. You can see that uh, one other thing that I'd like to do here is on my patch panel. I'm also going to uh, modify that one a little bit. Go to insert field. And uh, here I'm going to put um, end quote and space and the word patch panel. The space and then the end. And here I'm going to put another field in, ROP period. And that's going to give me patch panel ID as an option. And you can see that this one uh, now gives us a patch panel designation. So that basically um, gives us the labels uh, that we're looking for in this um, phase. We'll be moving to the uh, next uh, video where we'll be uh, working at saving these shapes. And for further information, Dr. Infrastructure